On tonight's edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. We had above average temperatures across the state today. We'll continue all more in my Iowa forecast. And John has your national weather right after this. It's Monday night on ISU-TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU-TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back. I'm joined by Eric to talk about today's weather. You know, it was actually uh, pretty nice today, I thought. You know, 60s, a little above average, but, you know, can't complain too much about the weather, you know. But how was the weekend for you? Um, it was lovely. I spent a lot of it um, outdoors. It was nice, very nice. It was a little nice. brisk, but, you know, it was sunny and clear, and it felt like a great weekend to just be outside and enjoy this fall weather. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. And Definitely. Lacking a little bit for the Iowa State football team, but hmm. you know, it's all right. Basketball, <laughs> basketball season's just around the corner, so that's all we're all yep. looking for. Yep, we'll, we'll start winning again pretty soon, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll start again, and uh, just hoping for that uh, final four appearance on the basketball team. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So uh, let's take a look at our day planner. You know, it was uh, actually pretty nice today with uh, 41 degrees at 8 a.m., but it got up to about 52 around noon, and mostly. Uh, clear sunny skies and at 6 p.m. it was still 52 so all in all it'll be a very pretty nice day tomorrow so all right sounds good uh, let's go over to John who has our national we had a few clouds coming across the area today and even some snow flying around on the national picture we'll check it out right after the break Welcome back to Size Eyes. John is in the studio with your national weather. Thanks for tuning in to Size Eyes tonight. Checking out a few of the highs across the nation today. Upper 70s in the lower Midwest, but as we move north and out to the mountains, temperatures really cool down into the 40s and even in the 30s. We even saw some snow. We'll check that out later in the forecast. And also around the nation, 36 tonight, 54 in Minneapolis, 36 in Denver, 50 in Billings, 73 down in Phoenix, pretty warm. As we move out to the east coast, we see upper 50s for most of the area. Moving down south, it's pretty much the same for, even for North Georgia, but down in Florida, of course, it's quite a bit warmer, 60s and 70s down there. As we move out west, we'll check out California, Arizona, and Nevada, 60s and 70s. Pretty nice weather down there. And as we move up to the northwest, 50s, pretty much the same as what we have here today. So really nothing too crazy going on weather-wise today, temperature with respect to temperatures anyway. Closer to home in Des Moines, Midwest area, it's 60s and upper 50s, 40s and 30s out west where it has been pretty much a lot colder. We'll see that cyclone moving across in our clouds and radar, throwing down even a little bit of snow out west in Wyoming and Colorado. The S word, something, something that we fear as winter starts moving along here in the late fall. But Sooner or later, it's going to be on our doorstep falling. It'll be Christmas time, and I'm even seeing those Christmas commercials. So it's definitely on its way. We're moving out towards the Great Lakes, but we'll go to warnings right now. We got a few warnings for snow and this and that. Not too much going on severe weather-wise across the nation, though. As we move ahead, though, into the future cast, it's going to throw down a little bit of rain in the central Iowa area. That's going to move ahead into Tuesday and throw down quite a bit of rain down south in Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. But as that passes through, we're going to get pretty good clearing. We'll check that out in the seven-day later, how Tuesday is going to look. I bet you guys won't be too disappointed with it. It should be decent on Tuesday. Our highs tomorrow, 50s and 60s across the Midwest. Down south, warmer, of course, as it usually is, and warmer on the southwest towards Arizona and California. <coughs> Our pick city today, Hunter, New York. Tuesday, high of 61. Wednesday, 63 and 41. 
Thursday is the next chance of rain up there. A little bit of clouds going on. And Saturday and Sunday, not much of a chance for rain, but still it's in the picture. All right, thank you, John. Let's take a look at your trivia question for today. On this day in 1991, the city of Des Moines established a daily record low of what temperature? Do you think it is A, 4 degrees, B, negative 6 degrees, C, negative 13 degrees, or D, negative 9 degrees? We'll have your answer coming up a little later in the show. For now, let's go to Eric, who has your Iowa weather. <coughs> We got some rain popping up across the state today, but we'll continue into the morning hours. I'll have more on my Iowa forecast after the break. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. As we look at the current conditions out there in Ames, it is 60 degrees. Wind is just out of the south at 8 miles per hour with a dew point of 50 degrees. As we look at the current temps across the state, you can see it's above average still, kind of with 60 in Ames, 57 over in Fort Dodge, and 64 down in Des Moines. We look at the highs for today, you can see it was pretty warm out there with 59 in Waterloo, 54 up in Mason City, and 63 down in Council Bluffs. Look at the current, current winds out there today, you can see they're gusting out of the south at 8 to 15 miles per hour in that area with 8 in Ames, 13 in Sioux City, and 10 down in Ottumwa. So look at the clouds and radar, you can see rain starting to pop up across the state today. Really in the later hours as we get into the night, it's starting to get a little bit more. As you can see off to the west though, you can see snow creeping in. So you, it just kind of goes to show how close we are to that time where we're starting to get snow into our forecast. As we look at the future cast, here's that rain that I was showing you right then. As we go into the night, it's going to move out. So by tomorrow morning, this would be dry and clear for your morning walk to classes. As we go throughout the day and through the evening hours, it'll stay clear. And as we get into Wednesday morning, that is when the clouds will be moving in with rain popping up up in Minnesota. Look at the few, uh, if we look at the tonight weather, you can see we got mostly cloudy with a chance of rain. Mostly, it'll be, I mean, it'll be out of here before the morning hours, but the winds will be gusting up to 18 miles per hour. So look at tomorrow, we got the uh, 55 with mostly sunny, windy, winds gusting up to 20 miles per hour. So it'll be a windy one out there as you're walking to, between classes out there. If you look at the extended forecast, you can see Tuesday, it's looking nice at 55 degrees. Wednesday, there's a chance of rain later in the day, with a high of 58. But as we go through the rest of the week, you got at least clear skies. Highs start to dip down there at 46 and 48 is the highs. But as we go into the weekend, the highs still start to struggle to get up there with 44, 43, and 48 on Monday. Back to you, Pam. Thank you, Eric. Let's take another look at that trivia question. All right, today's question was, on this day in 1991, the city of Des Moines established a daily record low of what temperature? Did you think it was A, 4 degrees, B, negative 6 degrees, C, negative 13 degrees, or D, 9 degrees? The correct answer is A, 4 degrees. Thank goodness it's not that cold today. <laughs> Definitely. I don't, I don't remember when it's ever been that cold, I mean, at least this time of year. I wasn't born until 1994, though, so. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I haven't had to deal with that kind of cold this early, but, you know, it's getting into November now. We're starting to get to cooler temps, and I think it's going to become, start to become a shock to people that are, you know, used to those warmer fall temperatures we've had for most of the fall, actually, it's that now they actually have to start, you know, bundling up just a little bit more as it starts to get cooler and windier. And you can see snow in the forecast. It's not good, so. <laughs> yeah, even down in Main Street in Ames, they've got those, you know, those lights set up that are shaped like snowflakes on all the light poles. Yep, yep. There are people are already getting ready for Christmas and winter, and we haven't reached Thanksgiving yet. we still got yeah. plenty of school left before we have to even think about, you know, winter break or any of that fun yeah. stuff. It's wonderful that it stayed nice this late in the season, though, went this far into, I mean, into November even. Yeah, definitely. So. We really lucked out this whole year even because uh, this summer it wasn't too humid at all. M mainly stayed below average for most of the summer and still stayed pretty nice into the fall, too. Yeah, I actually uh, lived here this summer, and it was really, I think, only maybe a week where we had you know high humidity, and it was actually unbearable out there. Otherwise, it was cool. I mean. A lot of people were just hanging outside because it was comfortable out there. Exactly. Like I, I, w I was a lifeguard this summer, and it wasn't very good for us because not a lot of people came because it wasn't hot enough to come. <laughs> but it, it was a very nice year for weather so far. So definitely, definitely. Yeah, we'll see if we get a mild winter or not. But starting to yeah. get in the swing of football too, and that's one of my favorite times of year. Oh yes, oh yes. All right. Thank you for joining us tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. We'll see you again on Wednesday.